Bloop bloop everyone, welcome back to Inscription. We died last last part, but uh, that doesn't keep us from going on, apparently. And we, we solved some puzzles in this room. Uh, opened the safe and did these. These were very interesting, I think. And we got in here, in this lower left one, we got a wolf in a cage. So maybe we can free this figurine with this somehow. But I think we still need to continue playing. There's Gary! A raven egg? Ooh, that's gonna be a raven then. A nascent raven. It is no less con conniving in its incubation. And the adder. I think we'll take Gary, of course. Yay, we died and we are a card now. So that actually means that the stoat and the stink bug are people. Or something. Some whatevers that were put into cards by this guy. Yeah, maybe I didn't know you have to solve riddles in the first place. This game is so cool and creepy, lol. Especially the battle music. Yeah, I like this. I like it a lot. Hmm. You can't take more than three items and you have three. Instead, perhaps you'll accept this gift from my friend. A rat! And we get another pack rat. I don't want it. Thank you. The prudent pack rat. Never doubt the utility of a well-stocked pack. So we can get this just by having items when we when we visit an item thing. Which we had no choice, so. But I maybe should use some because there's another item thing there. You again. Indeed! Our friend freed me! Well, I basically told them how to do it. You got a plan? We have another friend here. You've got to be... I wouldn't call him a friend. But I suppose we are in, in deep this time. Okay. Oh god, we got the Ant Queen. We have all the cards now. Oh my goodness. And what does the Ant Queen do? Ant Spawner. When a card bearing the sigil is played, an ant is created in your hand. And ants make it stronger. Well, that is good. So playing more ants will help. This will always be a 1-3 because it is an ant itself. If you play another, it's a 2-3. Well, that's actually pretty cool. Pretty cool mechanic. Uh, you need bones. What's that stink? Stinky. The creature's oppo uh, creature opposing a card bearing the sigil loses one power. Well, that's good. Only one. Uh, cannot draw a card on my first turn. Well, thank you. What are you playing? Wolf Cup. You know... I'm actually gonna wait. I'm actually gonna wait what you do. Yeah, you give me a damage, it's fine. And yeah, I don't want you to have the alpha. Uh, could play the Ant Queen, though. I could play the Ant Queen. That is not a bad idea, to be honest. Power and Numbers, the Ant's Creed. Yes, and I would like this one, but not this turn. Let's wait for him to play. Another Wolf Cup. It won't, it won't kill my Ant, which is good. Uh, you know what? Oh, I need a sacrifice for this Ant, and I want the Ant. Sad, I thought they, those were sacrificable, but no, they need sacrifices, which makes it pretty bad. Okay, this is actually a win now. Don't think I have to do much. Can, you know, use the stink bug anyway. Let's get another card. A skink. We haven't seen this one. Loose tail. When a card bearing the sigil would be struck, a tail is created in its place and a card bearing the sigil moves to the right. So yeah, this thing is a good blocker, which won't die easily. Although, it, if it can't move, it will die. Shouldn't you give me more? 
Okay. Only when it's played. Oh, that's that's interesting. I thought it spawned all the time, but no, it doesn't. Back in the game. We haven't won yet. Let's get the stowed. Fine. <laughs> and overkill. Some of his engagements are so unfair, but this one was okay. Maybe we don't have to get the items yet. Ah, the elusive otter. It submerges itself during my turn. I love this, but the teeth, they look so grim. So it submerges, so it can't be killed, but, you know, the, the other one can attack you with impunity. Another wolf? The reviled skunk. Its stench reduces the strength of the enemy. Yeah, but it needs a sacrifice, and it doesn't do much else. So it can help against the river otter or something and block him from doing anything. We only have one wolf. Let's have another wolf. Because that thing is actually useful. Anything we want to sacrifice here? I mean, we could have gotten the skunk, actually, to sacrifice it for the stench and give it to someone else. Like someone useful. We could sacrifice the cockroach... ...to make someone else undying. Probably Gary. I'd say Gary needs to be undying. Because this card is horribly good. Let's do that. That card is really awesome. The choice is yours. Okay. Uh, we'll sacrifice the cockroach. To make Gary undying. I mean, it needs a sacrifice still, but, you know... There's worse, worse things. Let's hope we have good cards. Always better, these games. There's the wolf. Needs two sacrifices, though. We need to get rid of this card. I would say. Is there anything I can do? Uh, this is a lot of damage. It's four damage. Having nothing on the board is probably bad. But that will probably kill the bullfrog anyway. So we could make it 3 damage. Or we just wait and get rid of one of these cards. I don't think waiting is useful. We need to build up, build up some bones. At least the scale is not that tipped in his favor. Yeah, that is, that is bull. That is bull. It's total bullshit. The worker end, that is okay. It's not great though, because it only is a one. Ow. That's not easy. That's not easy with a tooth that is still healthy and stuff. Oof. And I think we get the squirrel to have any chance here. We need to get the worker and and out here. And make sure that he can't, you know, do much. We need to get the wolf out. I hope he plays another card so we can get rid of this card. Oh god, our two can't kill this and he'll kill us for sure which is not good which means though I can use this as a sacrifice because it'll die anyway I mean we, we forgo some damage true
I still think this is good though. We have nothing in our hand, which sucks. And this thing will die now. Coyote is stronger. And we have nothing. Gary. You can sacrifice the possum. Can't sacrifice this thing for some reason. But Gary is the better one. Oh! You get someone for, for something for free? I see the way this is going. I concede. You may accept my surrender. Or you may finish this match the slow way. Um, I'll finish the slow way, thank you, because I want over damage. Also, I want this thing to die. Thank you. Uncage the menagerie. And we get a wolf. What was that? Well, you should know. It's your game, my friend. Getting the wolf is good. There's a stoat. Yeah, I don't need it. Just kill him. It's a little bit of over damage. There you go. Don't let the don't let the tooth fall out. Yeah, since you gave Gary the item skill thing. Oh yeah, that was the item. You're right, Ariamis. You're right. I I haven't forgot. I have forgotten that totally. Uh, this is a card, random card, and making one stronger, and then the boss fight. This is a random card for cost. I don't have good sacrifices, though. This is... Uh, could we? We could give this to the stowed, but... Actually, this would be good for Gary, because he's undying, so he would get ants galore. But we can't give two sigils to someone. Two is max... Uh, more than two. Two is maximum. So that doesn't help. We could give this to someone. We could give the stink to someone. Would have had, would have to sacrifice the stink bug, though, and I don't want to sacrifice these cards, since they are special. We could sacrifice another pack rat to get even more items, which actually makes sense, for example, with the possum. Diminishes our damage and stuff. And our... Very... Uh, um, how variable our deck is. How useful. Oh, there's an... We got the wolf. Well, that's cool. Uh, let's actually... Wait. Let's actually stop. Before we do that. Haha! -ha, look at this. Ain't that nice. And that's probably here. Yeah. And the squirrel forgoes the dagger. You finally pried my special dagger from the paws of that squirrel. Though you may wish that you hadn't. Okay, that was it. Darn it. So, what Ariamis showed me was... That there is something special down here, but I can't get it. In, in these boxes. But I can't yet get it, so... If we get a sparrow, we can try this. Although we might die, but... Sacrifices have, have to be made. Um, we have the dagger now. Infusing, could that help? Could that give us a combo that is... Making us win? We don't have the winning thing in here no uh, by now. Oh, you, the... what? You don't look like the stink bug anymore. You look like a kabuki dancer or something. Okay. I don't think the skink thing is that important. Can be nice to block stuff with. And to keep alive. That is something, but... I'd like the Warren back, please. I never could play this. We could another thing that is played with one sacrifice. We could get one. A random one. Although that doesn't need to be more useful. We could draw the skink, which... Uh, the, 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 the skunk, which wouldn't make any more sense. 
Could we strengthen someone? I mean, Gary for sure. Maybe the possum would be good. Easy to play. Maybe the stink bug because others gets, get, you know, weaker. Yeah, the bug looks more human now. Yeah, doesn't he? Hmm. I mean, we only need one item. I'm sorry. Got a frog in my throat. We only need one item. Um, so this wouldn't make that much sense. So we actually want to strengthen or we want to... You know, get some combination that is just amazing. But I don't see one. <laughs> That's the problem. So let's just go here and strengthen. The Rattler. The Pernicious Vulture. A Tyrant of the Skies. I mean, a 3-3 that's flying for 8 bones is probably not bad. Ooh. The Furfid Mantis. Its prying claws strike both to the left and, the, and right. Pretty weak. But we could strengthen it. It would make probably sense to use this to do some really good damage. I don't know, though. This is really hard to play. But if we can play this, this could be good. Could even give this something else so it, you know, does more damage. I don't know. Let's try the Mantis, I think. Maybe we can strengthen it. A crew of starving survivors stood around a dying campfire. There's room for a creature around the fire, one said. The warmth will enhance its power, said another. One of the survivors said nothing at all, but could not stop licking their lips. Mmm, joy. No way. So you don't want that? That's sad. More damage with you could be good, though. Actually, damage on the Mantis is doubled, because it, it strikes two tiles, as we know. It doesn't strike the tile in front of it, which is not good, but it strikes the tiles next to it. Diagonal. So you could do, with one damage, you would gain two. One, two. So you would do two, four. And four is almost a win. So actually, giving this to the Mantis could be good, I think. It's not that awesome with, with uh, health, though. Oh, the Mantis was enhanced by the warmth. As one of the survivors began pulling a knife from their pocket, you withdrew. For now. Let's try to kill this guy again. Unfortunately, as far as I know, bosses are not randomized in any way. Yeah, just take my life. My boss battles are high stakes tests of your aptitude. With one flame, you will either overcome them or die. Fear not, I will let you keep the smoke. Well, thank you. Smoke can be sacrificed though, although it's just smoke. The incessant clank clank clanking reverberated between your ears. The path ahead was blocked by a grotesque figure. Twist the prospector here! Okay. Good. So strange. Why can't I remember his name? I believe I lost some of my memory. Well, obviously. In the flash. In the flash? Yeah, the camera. Of course it is. Pack Mule and Coyote. Um, we have the smoke, which can be played for free, so that's a sacrifice there. And gives us some bones. There is a wolf, so we could instantly gain a wolf. We could gain the skink here, which would be good. Because the Coyote couldn't kill it. Problem is we only have one. And we have to be careful because he will turn everything to gold that we play. I think we play this. Means we can't sacrifice this. Oh, damn, we could have sacrificed this through here. But I'd rather use it as a real sacrifice, to be honest. Gives me a bit. There's a wolf cup I can't do anything with. It's hard to call it cowardly. So now I can kill it, which is actually pretty good. Need a sacrifice. A squirrel. 
Okay, this is actually enough to pull the stink bug out. Um, don't have enough sacrifices though. To get the wolf out. Could sacrifice the skink, but I don't think that's useful. Let's wait. We are fine. I, I need to conserve cards, and that is bull. That's absolute bullshit. Prospector boss again. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't enjoy that too. Um, still can't do much. I can't block anything. He can't spawn his his rear end again and go here because the boulder is still there and I can't get rid of it. I can play as many cards as I want per turn, so there's nothing I need to do. Becomes a wolf now. That dies, unfortunately. Don't need a sacrifice right now. The ant queen. Could be good. Would give me an ant. But killing this would be better. There's the stoat. I need two sacrifices either way. For the wolf or for the queen. And the wolf is better because it does more damage. But what's behind this? Another wolf. Which is... Not fine. I would attack. This would be go down to one. Would go here next turn. This one would come and kill me. Which is bad. Because I, I would like to have this on one and then kill him with it. Since damage carries over in the back row. Good play. Yeah. It's not gonna be good now. Squirrel, stoat. I could just play the stoat here. I don't have any... any bones. And that boulder will break soon. Let's play the stoat here. Keep me alive? Yeah, he will kill you, but it's fine. Now that will move. There's one I can kill though. But not with the queen. So I need to place the wolf here. I don't want to though. I want to win this way and I will. But will the mule persist? I hope. Because I win this round, then he makes... Yeah, there's... Does golden them cards! You little sucker. But it gives me at least some stuff. Uh, g -g -g gold I've struck gold! If I would have had the vulture, that would be great now. We need Gary. That's not Gary. I need Gary. There's only two nuggets here, which is actually pretty good. And he lost the wolf. Oh, because he didn't, he didn't play him yet. This time. Uh, this is interesting. Guardian. When, oppo when an opposing creature is placed opposite... Yeah, the bug looks more human. Oh, okay. Uh, it's placed opposite to an empty space. A card bearing the sigil will move to that empty space. So this would... If, he, if, he's, if he's in here, he would come here and protect. We have to think about that. The pack rat could kill that and I get another item, which is nice. Two sacrifices. Um, the pack rat would be okay ish here. Couldn't kill this one though. But getting rid of the wolf would probably be a good, good thing. We get a squirrel. That's good. Because that means we can sacrifice next turn and get the wolf in. He will attack here. Okay. Get him! Uh, get him! That's that's rather the thing. Uh, get a squirrel. We have the ant queen. Only the wolf can kill this. Or the wolf could kill this too. I think I want this. It's not an empty space, so... This is, which is not great. 
Because it means it, it dies now. Dagnabbit! Yeah, it's it's your your mule, I know. But I win now. Well, not quite. We have a raven egg, we have an end queen, we have an alpha. Uh, the alpha would help tremendously. But it's really weak and it would die through the to the bloodhound. Or would it? Maybe it would not. We don't need to sacrifice here because we have uh, bones. Could place the raven egg too. Oh, I need to draw a card first, of course. Uh, let's let's find Gary here. Oh, it's the mantis. Um, the mantis wouldn't be good because it would draw the hound here. No, the wolf would draw it here and, and kill it anyway, but that's okay. So I think let's put the alpha here. And that means the gold nugget can attack and we win. Three, no. Blocked? It's from the left, I think. This will be blocked, so that's fine. One, two, five. Dead. Done. No overkill, unfortunately, but we win. Oh, there is overkill. What? We were at zero, so five would no would be no overkill. Strange. Let me relight your candles. Well, thank you. Very well. You may choose a rare card. Please don't hide your disappointment, my friend. The prudent pack red. Never doubt the utility of a world stock pack. Well, we have enough of those. Let's get the gek then. I'd like the infinite stuff, but you know. After the harrowing encounter with the prospector, you gathered yourself and continued onwards. The infinite stuff would have been great if we had sacrificed it. Maybe that's something special too. Let me see. Because sacrificing a child, and he said something about it, and I could have done this here and give this, uh, the infinite sacrifice ability to Gary or something. No, not to Gary, to, to another thing. The air grew thick with moisture. The buzzing and chirping of insects drowned out the sound of your footfalls. You beheld the wetlands. Well, this is new. Since we can't sacrifice anyway, let's go here and look what that is. You arrived at the inky black mouth of a cave. I love that the eyes now changed. A strange beast lurked within. It spoke past one of my trials and I will be yours. In a trespy voice? In in a recipe voice. Okay, this is that that it's not a letter that, that was missing there. Because of the candle. Three creatures will be drawn from your deck. They will decide your success or failure. It spoke again, but first you will choose a trial. The trial of wisdom. The three drawn cards must have at least three sigils among them to pass. Okay, so if we draw Gary, we have two, and then we need just another one. That's good. The trial of bones. The three draw cards must cost at least five bones combined to pass. The trial of health. The three, three drawn cards must have at least six health combined to pass. Well, health is not our strong suit. I mean, if we, if we draw Gary, we win with the first or the last, so that's fine. But we need to draw Gary. I mean, the six health could be... That could be... Three times two is, uh, is six, so... And we have only a few that are lower. Let's do the health. I think that's... Yeah, way less people have sigils there. Well, actually, how many cards have more than one health? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11 out of 2, 4, 6, 7, out of 14. So that's three cards without, with only one health. Actually, health is better, I think. Because with sigils, that's five, six that don't have, seven that don't have sigils. So yeah, health is better. Let the trial of health begin. Good? Not good? Perfect. Two from the bullfrog, one from the opossum, six from the Gary. <laughs> That's like final space. The Gary. <laughs> you have passed the trial. Yay! What do we get? The beast revealed itself. It was... 
A rattler, a wolf, or, or moose buck. Oh, that thing is nice. Three and seven. And it does something. Hefty. At the end of the owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil will move in the direction inscribing the sigil. Creatures in the way will be pushed in the same direction. Well, that's interesting. So we can push our creatures around, which could be great, but... The thing is, it pushes and moves, and then it moves. That doesn't really make any sense to me. The Rattler with the item, though, could be interesting. We have a very item-heavy deck then, and I can really spend these things. Or the wolf that blocks flying creatures, which is good, but he has not much health and he needs a lot of a lot of sacrifice. So, let's get the rattler. The inhabited rattler joined your menagerie. I thought it would be a special beast. I'm a little bit disappointed. Uh, it, I mean, it was very special. It had some special effects, but you know, we have two items. Don't think we need it. Let's, let's improve something. Yeah, yeah, we know. So, more strength. Pick someone, something else, or do what you must. Why are you so against more strength? Actually, it could make the Mantis way better. Could make uh, my card way better. The possum with more strength could be great because it's very easy to play. And that would make it far more useful. The Gek even more, actually. The Gek is the easiest card to play anyway. But it might just be sacrificed. I'd rather use this as a sacrifice that can do stuff. We don't have a burp, so we can't do the thing on the wall. Um... Still, the Gek is the best one, because it can just be played. So as we're right about the flames, they enhance the creature's power. Spotting a few of the survivors drooling, you made a hasty retreat with your Gek here. Okay, let's fight this fight. We have the possum. We can't play shit. That's awesome. Thank you. Kingfisher, so we can't block him anyway, which is great. We have to play the Ant Queen. Uh, the thing is where? He won't play anything else right now. Which is fine with me. Just put you there. Get a worker end, but we need something to sacrifice. Unfortunately. Um, you know what? Forgo your turn. I pass my next turn. So begin go here. Pass. Yes, I know, thanks. Um, I need a sacrifice for the end. We should get another... No, we only get one with this sigil, which is so dumb, actually. Because we have not many ends. Can't do anything against these guys anyway, so I can just ignore them. Could put the, could put the possum in. Or the stink bug, actually, which means one of the one of his guys will be useless. So yeah, because it takes with the stink, it takes some uh, damage away there, and then it's the zero card. So he can only do one damage, and I will win in his uh, next turn. Because that's five damage. We are at four, and we will be at three, and then it's he's dead. He's dead. Yeah, the otter won't help you. I have stuff to, to sacrifice. That wouldn't give me much, though. So whatever, I win. So yeah, you can see how hard you can win in this game. It's very interesting, and how hard you can lose on the other side, too. And it's very easy to lose. There are not many encounters before a boss. It's really interesting. The inviolable beehive. When it is attacked, you will draw a bee. Only when it's attacked, so it might die instantly, so... Let's get the sparrow and try this thing on the wall. I can delete a card from my deck, apparently. I would guess at least. What would I get rid of? I mean, I have so much bullshit in here. I can't even draw most of my cards. Probably the bullfrog or something? 
I mean, with the flying creatures, it's just do more damage quickly. And then you win. Can't even really block flying creatures anyway. And I can't attack them most of the time because they submerge, so... I don't know. Getting more items, though, would be nice. Or strengthening my cards would also be very nice. Like, getting the Mantis. If we get some some health for the Mantis, that thing would be amazing. That thing would be great. Or items. We only have one item. That would be two more. Which could really help in these fights. There's no more items there. We could strengthen though. Or give this to... Or oh, give this to Gary would be amazing. There's a better one than this, by the way. Even give, it, give this to a wolf would be great. Or to the Rattler. We could do this. This is, in, this is an instant win, then. Six is an instant win. If we didn't dis, uh, get any damage, you know. Uh, let's go for the items. I think they're more useful right now. Mm, yes. Yes. I think that's, that's the best thing we can do. Let's hope we can do the combat. He's gonna get stronger. Look. There's a third talking card somewhere around here. Personally, I hate the guy. Biggest killjoy ever. But he's the only one of us with a plan to get things back to normal. Okay. Well, good to know. Unfortunately, I can't do anything about that right now. A bullfrog. Okay. Yeah, see? It's, it's not that easily killable. I guess I put the stone in for this. Against the bullfrog. He would get damaged a lot, though. You know what? I put the stink bug in. That's why I have these. Because he can't do crap against him. Yeah, let's wait. It's better... I, I think in this game it's better to see what he will do to you. Okay, that's good. And there's an adder. I don't like this. He'll do a lot of damage now. Oof, and there's the rattler. Uh, problem is, that was probably a mistake. I hope that wasn't bad. I think it's bullfrog time. So we wipe his board, which is always a good thing. Unfortunately, the three damage... Oh no, it kills us. I, I've forgotten. Damn it! Couldn't block that anyway, but yeah. That was dumb. I hope for more. Yeah, me too. Thanks. God damn it. That was a dumb thing. See, that's that's what the game still make, makes it very hard for me to uh, at the moment. Venerable Alpha, its courage emboldens the creatures that stand beside it. Well, that's great. The Rat King. Ooh. The tragic... i I never seen this one. The tragic Rat King. When the tangled bodies become corpses, you will gain four bones. Interesting, because it's four rats. But interesting. Two, two blood though. That's a lot. So that's six bones. Pretty good if you want to get uh, get the the vulture out. Guess get the alpha. That is good, good one. Uh, don't want to do the totem fight if at all possible. So I probably just strengthen. We have too many cards is our problem here. Yeah, and you can't forego these. It sucks. Let's do this. We might die. We'll see. Two health, that's actually good. Uh, stop this. We could give the two health to the Mantis, which would be great. 
It will make it really good, uh, good at surviving. Suspected the intentions of the survivors were less than pure with a tremendous and Tory retreat into the woods. Uh, okay. Don't want another card though. The fur. Dumb coyote. Okay, we need to get some damage in if at all possible. I think I used the gag as just as a uh, as a sacrifice. It has two damage though. So we get three damage in right here. You know what? For now, you're not a sacrifice. I could sacrifice a squirrel to tank, but that's actually not good. In my book. Can't do any anything against these guys anyway, but we can do something against the coyote. With that. Let's put a wolf in. The gag was <laughs> shivering, the poor thing. You see, having the mantis in this spot would be amazing now, because the flying creatures, you know... Can't even sacrifice really much. Lucky draw. Well, you say that, but I wouldn't. Because we haven't won yet. And I can't play you. So we'll do... F we'll do three. They do... Th they do three. No. Yes, they will do three because of the otter. But that means we are still at the same level. And I will use the knife. Oh! Oh, you could kill me, of course. Well, that's sad. You sure? Yeah, you have to tank this. Unfortunately. Ah, but we win. Good. Um... There's the next boss, guys. There's the next boss. We'll see if we get there. I hope you enjoyed. See you next time, everyone. Bye-bye.